the kitchen, I'm going to show you how to do a really simple Italian side dish, broccoli rabe. First thing I'm going to show you is how to clean broccoli rabe. Most people cut it with stem and all. I don't like that. So what you want to do is you want to, if you see leaves like that with holes on them or anything, you got to get rid of them. But see this? This is all good. These are good. Okay. Any yellow leaves, I don't use them. I'm very tasty. In the middle, you just cut it out. Snip it off. Pretty much just pull the leaves from this. Like, this is perfect. This is like a little baby one. So I just take most of the bottom stem out and just use the top. Just strip the leaves. Really simple. There we go. This is only going to take like two minutes, but it's really worth it because when you're done with the broccoli rabe, what you don't want is to bite into literally a stalk. There's no flavor in that. Just kind of, kind of hard and not very tea. I don't know. I just don't like it. Now another thing that I've another thing that I've seen here in America that most people do when they make broccoli rabe is they steam them first and then they saute them to get rid of the bitterness. But that's broccoli rabe. Broccoli rabe is meant to be bitter. Broccoli rabe is not meant to be sweet. It's not meant to be like escarole or anything else. So I'm just gonna saute it just the way my grandmother does it. The way my mother does it, the way all the women in my family do it. This is how I've eaten it as a child, and this is how I'm going to continue to eat it. But if you think it's too bitter for you, then I suggest just putting it in a pot with a little bit of uh, water until just um, just until it wilts, and then saute some garlic, a little bit of olive oil. Just do the same method that I'm going to show you, and then saute it once they're already steamed. That's all. And then you will see that they're a lot less bitter. Okay, so my broccoli rabe is clean. Now the other ingredients you need to make this dish is um, extra virgin olive oil or regular olive oil, whichever one you have, salt and pepper, garlic, and hot pepper flakes. Now, I would really like to find the little Italian pepperoncinis, the dried pepperoncinis. I would love to use those, but they're not very, um, very they're not available in my regular supermarket. So I'm just gonna go with hot pepper flakes because every supermarket carries them. And as far as broccoli rabe. I got mine today at the Philadelphia market, but every supermarket carries them. There's, I'm, I'm telling you, I've seen supermarkets around the country with broccoli rabe, so I know you'll be able to find it. Okay, let me preheat my pan. Just a medium high heat. Put in a nice drizzle of olive oil. Now you cannot make broccoli rabe with a little bit of olive oil. Can't be done. Has to sizzle and fry in the olive oil. And that's what's going to get a lot of its flavor from. Now, while the pan's preheating, I'm just going to chop up some garlic. Now, I love a lot of garlic in my rocky rock. I'm going to use about three cloves. I'm just a little guy. I look lonely. I look sad. I'm just going to whack it with the back of my knife to get the peels off. There you go. Now this is going to feed about two people because it, although it looks like a lot, broccoli rabe really shrinks down to nothing. So if you're trying to feed about four people, I would say use, um, use two big bunches. But you know what? My husband and I love it so much that two bunches will feed us just by themselves. So I'm just going to give it a rough chop. Not too fine. Okay, I'm just going to put it in the pan with the olive oil. say a quarter cup of olive oil because this is what most of the flavor is coming from. So I'm also going to have my hot pepper flakes in about a minute though. I'm just grab my tongue. It smells so good. You know what else is really good? If you take this broccoli rod and then you, at the, instead of just letting it go and, and saute it by themselves, put a little bit of chicken stock, a dab of butter, and so it creates like a sauce, and then put Parmesan cheese in there and toss it with penne. So delicious. But that's a whole other recipe, a whole other show. Okay. You see how it's nice and sizzling? That's what we want. That's what we want. So I'm just going to put hot pepper flakes on. This is the taste, depending on how hot you like it. I think I put in here about a half a teaspoon. Should be good. My husband loves spicy food. I love spicy food, so I think a half is good. We'll put my broccoli rabe. And it's nice and clean and trimmed. Okay. 
okay? Mmm, it smells so good. I'm just going to put it over it, and it's going to be very loud, and you might not hear me, but I'm just going to put it in and put a lid on it. It's gonna wilt there for about a minute or so, and then I'm gonna pull the lid off. Pull the lid off, and I'm gonna just just um just turn it a couple times, and then I'm gonna show you how to get it from here to your plate. Okay, so it's been about a minute that the broccoli bomb's been in. Look at that! It's like half the size, half the amount. Okay, so now I'm going to add just a little bit of water, about half a cup. Salt, pepper. Okay, get a little flip in your tongs. Lid on, high heat. Seven, eight minutes, done. Okay, so this should be ready, almost ready anyway. Look at that. It is perfect. I don't want it too mushy, but I don't want it hard either. I still want to keep its green, green color. This is it. I'm just going to plate it now. I'm just going to put it in my pretty little bowl. There we go. Oh, it's going to be so good. I can smell the garlic. I can smell the... Olive oil, I can smell the, I actually even smell the hot pepper flakes. And I mix them with the olive oil. Oh, so delicious, no idea. Okay. And here you go. Like I said, it doesn't make a lot. It's perfect for two people. But look at all the colors. Look at that. It's perfect. I'm Laura Vitale. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time where I'll show you another how to make simple delicious dinners.